on Buzz 360. Tom Lene Creel here on the red carpet for Hillary Roberts' star-studded V-Day bash. Now, not only is she celebrating, but she's giving back with the launch of her new Red Songbird Foundation. The carpet's about to start. We got all the interviews. Check it out. for the Red Songbird Foundation launch, but also to give back to such an important cause. First of all, Hillary Roberts is someone who wants to see people heal. And we I've been to different charity functions where you see people that are profiting off people's pain. And I'm being really honest with you. And and but Hillary, her heart, what she stands for, she has nothing like that in her heart. And I saw because we, you know, it's funny because people with trauma recognize other people who've been through trauma. And, you know, my wife and I have, been, have come through a lot of different things. And when I heard her story and I heard all the things that she's been through, and I said, this woman knows it. And talk to us about the foundation, the Red Songbird. You guys have been doing this for a long time. Today's our official launch. Explain to us what that is. Well, for about 10 years, I've personally been sending people to treatment and for the counseling to help them with trauma. And we decided to make it all official. And when I was six years sober, I, I was really struggling with the pains of abuse that happened growing up. And a foundation paid for half of my treatment. And once I started getting to the healing of freedoms, I, I knew that I wanted to pay. I knew I wanted to be able to give back and have a foundation that helped people like I had been helped because I never knew I could have the yay. I never knew I could have a life without nightmares and be able to celebrate true intimacy. I just never knew I could have that. How you doing, Gabriel? I'm doing very well, I'm doing very well. I'm walking funny because I'm not used to being in, like, you know, clothing that's normal. It's okay, I mean, but we're here I'm for- I'm all about sweats and t-shirts. <laughs> That's okay, because we're here for a great cause. How does it feel to be celebrating the Red Song Red Foundation and birthday today? You know, uh, it is it is a great, great cause, and uh, that's the only reason why I'm wearing pants. Seriously, I, I'm a dude who wears shorts 24-7. I do not wear pants for anyone. So, Hillary. Well, you know, we're glad that you wear pants. It's, it's, it's a funny kind of weather and stuff like that in L.A. First of all, talk to us about your new projects. We love your comedy. We've been watching you for years. We see kind of a switch to family maybe a little bit. Uh, just a little bit. I have a show coming out on Netflix next month called Mr. Iglesias, where I play a high school history teacher. So I'm going to be a history teacher, and then, uh, you know, we'll see what happens after that. We've, we've shot it. It's 10 episodes, so feel free to binge me. How does Fluffy relate to being a history teacher? I was actually supposed to be a teacher before I got into comedy, so it actually makes a lot of sense. What? Yes. What's your favorite subject? History. Mm, say no more. Yeah. My problem is I never learned from it. Okay. <laughs> well, hi, Pixie Lot. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. I don't have any good we went to school together stories, but we will have on red, so there you go. We do both have on red. It's the color of the night, isn't yeah. it? I didn't know whether I should wear it because... It's the Red Songbird Foundation launch tonight. And I was like, oh no, is everyone gonna be wearing red? But I think that's a good thing. It's just a celebration. Yeah, it's a lot of things to celebrate. First of all, new music dropping, girl. How you yeah. feel? I'm excited. I think just because it's a new chapter of lots of new music that I've been writing over the last year. And it's music that I'm really excited about because it's very from the heart. And the writers I've been writing with are just amazing and um, it's been my favorite writing process so far, and I've been doing it for a long time now. So I'm just really excited. We're all here tonight, because of course everybody looks fabulous, but for such a great cause, being an influencer, uh, what does it mean to you to be able to come and support events like this? I mean, it's kind of everything. It's what we do. It's literally like why we're here, why we have a following. I mean, some people, of course, use their following in different ways, but I like to be a role model. I like to... I don't know, like support women, everything like about it and everything that she's about is like I like being at places like this because you get to support it, you get to be here. You're you're not just saying what you, like you're not acting like an influencer online and, and wishing all these things and um standing all of these things. You're actually like here in the moment living it and actually like like caring about it instead of just like, oh I'm an influencer and here's like what I care about. It's like I'm here because I actually love it. I'm actually into it and I actually want to be a role model and everything that she stands and um, her like sobriety and everything is like I've 
I look up to her too because I mean I've never like done any drugs never had a sip of alcohol in my life but I know so many people my age are like going through all that too so it's like crazy and I'm glad that she's like using a platform to like be a role model. I mean Hillary has just been one of the kindest people that I know so I would uh, I'll show up anywhere that I can for you Hillary happy birthday. And I love the fact that the Red Songbird Foundation, you know, at a time where we're talking about mental health and addiction, it really brings awareness to that. Um, and it's going to help so many people. You know, it's an interesting time for me because I just put out a song called Love You Sober. And it talks about that in some ways, literally. Now, I do like to have some tequila here and again, but the older I get, the less I crave the party scene, the less I crave any of that. And especially when it comes to relationships, I think a lot of us go through them literally intoxicated sometimes before we realize, oh, wait a second, we haven't had a night out without this stuff. And that's what I'd experienced. So um, Hillary is an inspiration. 22 years of sobriety, the positivity that comes with that, the motivation, the tenacity, the drive, it's contagious. And so I want to be around more people like Hillary. Hi, Terry Cruz. Rebecca Cruz. And, you and you've have just, just been buzzed. buzzed.